Greetings everyone. This is the 19th January 1942. Uh, try number two. The first uh, video had no voice. So again, the same turn. I already uploaded this one, but only for I think half hour. Then I realized, oh, my voice is missing. And how this, uh, how we can play this game or watch this game without a nice comment from at least my side. So again, this is a play by email against Jochen, El Jochen, the allied player for me, the Empire of Japan. Let's check what happens here today. Um, the main focus point is of course is still Changsha. The central front of uh, China is uh, uh, let's say there's a big battle piling up. The northern front is quiet because uh, we both block each other, and the southern front is in favor of uh, for Jochen. But I still have Japanese elite division in a heavy terrain and not easy to kick out for Chinese. So we will see. I'm picking up here some smaller bases, left and right, only to clean up all what can maybe stay in my way. And uh, Jochen try to mine uh, Palau Islands, but with organization and experience you simply must have in every major port a minesweeper, always on duty. You need also a mine tender, because every major port also need a defense minefield, so that this is a standard stuff, it's, it's work. You have to do this, you have to organize it. And with the Japanese at least you have also to carefully uh, calculate your mines because the production rate of Japanese are mines are not very great. So you cannot mine every damn port. You must really focus on what is important now first. This is a sub chaser normally for deep water but without the deep water equipment uh, I first get this in March so, so yeah now this is only noise nothing more. And uh, yeah. This is the same, only the different, or the opposite. This is now one of his allies, sub chasers, uh, cheap equipment. You can see it's only a, I don't know what is this, a mini tanker, not a tanker, but some cargo ship only with some machine gun on top and some, maybe sub, um, sub hunter equipment. To wasting your two torpedoes is not, of course, not so nice, but naja, uh, it is like it is, cannot stop. Now Jochen try it against my mine tenders, also fail. So many torpedoes in the seas, and no one can hit each other. Shallow water is always a possibility, but this is now a deep water sub chaser, so he can attack in shallow water, but he don't have the, the best equipment for it. Uh, you have normally equipment can work in shallow water, but not many. You have normally this uh, sub chaser assistance, and sub chaser assistants are really good. They are the best from Japan for hunting in shallow water. So always the wrong ship or the wrong time for the wrong ship, for the right ship maybe in this case. Okay. Anyway, we have here only noise again, noise again. I normally must get rid of the submarines. If it's possible to find a submarine in shallow water, you normally must always try to push to kill it. You will never have a more easy way or chance to get rid of them. So, again, picking up. So, I still see the mines, terrible, who would do this, I would never mine the enemy port, that is not allowed, that is against every international law. So, 
Luckily, I get rid of them. And no, now you can also try to mine the mouse of uh, Singapore. And more submarines. Now in deep water. And uh, this is a typical uh, positions for submarines. Every uh, ship coming from Singapore going to uh, yeah, the Indian Ocean must pass this uh, hexes here, so stay here in deep water is a typical location. But my destroyers I send out normally to hunt this submarines, I cannot find this uh, position. And again, one Dutch submarine here now in shallow water, I would normally expect it. Okay, these are now good Japanese destroyers with equipment sink this ship or the submarine. But they cannot find the location. Somehow today all submarines have no no hit and I also cannot kill them. No, there was two possibilities to hit a submarine in shallow water but no. Good, this is now my carrier fleet, the first carrier division uh, arriving at uh, east of uh, Brisbane <sighs> somehow avoiding any detection, sailing more or less with uh, yeah, the knowledge that there can be always a Catalina, but somehow, for some reasons, Brisbane have no Catalinas. And uh, my my carriers arrived there, and uh, yeah, maybe it was luck, maybe it was skillful maneuver, or the weather cover my forces. I don't know, but I was waiting for the detection every turn. I sail down, source, 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 but nope. Up to the last moment, I never saw detection on my carrier fleet. So now here, mm, the typical bombardment one is nothing really special. Piling up only the damage and hurt and disabled units. This is the airstrike I was normally asked. I asked for this airstrike last turn. Last turn, they don't want to take off. Whatever, that's the reason. And uh, so my infantry attacked them without air support. And today I change it more as I say, okay, let only the air force strike and let the ground forces come rest. And if this uh, attack maybe hits last time, you can see most of this uh, now this Chinese forces, I mean, not, not all, but many are now disabled. Here is the same. This is uh, the last airfield uh, the British control in Malaya. And I attack it to an enemy surprise. I control every hex around this base, so if I later can enter this hex, there is uh, nearly no escape route more for the British forces. No retreat, only surrender. Yeah, this is a heavy job. Already destroyed support units. Also, some airstrikes on this Dutch British leftover units. Still in normal range, so you can see these bombers have a strike uh, distance of 10, 
So I'm just barely in range. I normally never use any bombers in long range attack. Jochen can do this with his B-17s. Even with half bomb loads, they still have enough bombs. But if I use my Japanese light and medium bombers for long range attack, uh, this uh, so only burning of supplies with the attack. Division near in strike range of Brisbane, I can locate at least two task forces. And the first dive bomber go in and immediately hit the target. So we have your APs, medium sized APs, so nothing really crazy big, but big enough to transport an uh, army unit. So these are not the Super President uh, Wilson or whatever they call, but he's also one at least one big AMC. So the AMC is uh, normally something like an uh, armed, fast troop transport ship. Not with uh, big numbers, but quickly can quickly move uh, units to the hotspot. So for AMV and Fibish attack, always good. Uh, because you can maybe avoid the detection of enemy scouts if you are fast enough to travel and arrive at the beach and unload before the enemy realizes that there is something coming. There was just a hit without explosion, so again, every standard torpedo, what is not marked 13, 14, 15, have normally always 10% duck shots. explained this uh, before but uh, if you have a torpedo attack every, or every air force attack have always four possible uh, uh, attack uh, lines you can the air plane can attack from the front the stern or the rear if uh, the pilot shoots this to both direction and you are a dive bomber, it's okay. The dive bomber can attack out of every direction, uh, but a torpedo bomber can always only attack from the port side uh, or starboard side. So the, the game still don't allow this, and you can see this that sometimes there is a dive uh, torpedo bomber. And coming from the stern or from the rear, and then there's never a hit. You will normally not even hear a splash because the pilot more or less makes a wrong attack run, and then mm, he cannot attack. He simply give up his attack run and return to the carrier. It's like a failure. I think this is the first the pilot must uh, be successful to make the right attack run. Dive bomber don't have this issue. Oh, I'm disconnected from Moldavia. Oh yeah, because I'm here in China, and of course you cannot use Chinese internet to use YouTube. That is not allowed. So I must use VPN. Uh, We hear, I hear one bomb after the next, finding the target, the steel is burning, sailors are screaming. I also don't, I only don't know if this kind of ships now are full with soldiers or empty. 
This strike on Burma I find a troop transport similar to this size and it was full with British Indian forces and at the end uh, Jochen lost 5000 guys. But it's hard to say if this is now uh, coming back from Pop Osby or is just won't go. And this is I think the cover force AMs but still more APs. So every AP I can think here now is really uh, will slow down every coming upcoming movement for uh, Jochen and the Allies uh, terror units and let me maybe focus my Japanese glories uh, army to conquer and free these islands of Opu of uh, yeah, New Caledonian and uh, what else I can find here, Fiji. I think I don't want to really do much. But at least it will offer me the chance to attack these islands with less resistance. Hit this AMs. I don't know if they really have an impact. Uh, they are ocean-going mine sweepers. The Japanese they don't have this kind of ship. Uh, there are some under construction, but I think first 43 or 44 they are arriving in the game. So the Japanese they only have this uh, mine sweeping destroyers for long distance and local. And I heavily change all of the equipment at the start of the game. I create much more local minesweepers, I create much more mine tenders. The Japanese have far too less of this support equipment. So you make an attack on the stern and this is not possible with the torpedo. So you can hear. No hear. For Japanese torpedo bombers, it's something so small like an AM. It's not only one torpedo, even two. So this is, of course, a totally overkill. And no thinking. Okay. This is maybe a show of force or skills. So AM down, AM down, AP down, AP down, AMC down. The next AP. One more, and because we have still more, we can kill one. Again. So, a totally kill and disaster. We have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight instant kills, plus one is burning and going down, heavy fire, heavy damage, and only one lucky survivor. So, maybe I let this guy simply survive, return to Brisbane, and then spread the news that. The Japanese are far too strong and too powerful. Let's give up, ask our president to request peace, or not request, but uh, offer peace. But uh, I don't know if the evil Americans will allow this. I think the Americans, they always force Australians to fight the war. But unlike me, there was no troops on this ship, so this was an empty ship. Uh, here we have some cargo. And I can see here this is an now empty cargo ship or it is a ship with supplies maybe. At least it is not with fuel where you would normally see all this fuel burning. And uh, this cargo ship is of course uh, dead. dead. I mean, so many torpedoes. So again, torpedo attack from a stern, it's not possible. So this torpedo 
Bomber will not even attack. And this 4 also makes a wrong attack run. So out of this 9 torpedo bombers only 4 make the right um, attack run. And all of this fire for these uh, torpedo bombers make not only the right attack run, they also s hit the target. So 100% hit range sk uh, skills. And the other 5, they are uh, they coming from the wrong direction. So was this now? Uh, I mean, oh, there's something sinking. So this is uh, last AP. Just go down. We have still the afternoon. Maybe I can uh, finish what I start. There's a shitty uh, submarine in Mindanao, a manado. My the mines near to Singapore. Uh, Jochen really try to use every sneaky move to stop my liberation of Asia but it will not uh, be successful where the Japanese go there will be victory and justice to follow afternoon strike yeah well yeah, we are. so one more cargo ship Now if cargo fuel is burning, so Jochen use this cargo ship uh, for transport uh, fuel, maybe from America to Australia. And uh, if a fuel cargo is burning, it's nearly impossible to stop it. I mean, if the fire is maybe very small, but something like this is uh, the maximum massive explosions. Maybe the ships go down immediately. Who knows? So both of these cargo ships I think are gonna Both don't want to sink immediately but both are burning and they're wreck. So if they survive this these ships will not enter the war for the next six months. But I don't believe that they will survive this. So my torpedo bombers have still some, I don't know, they won't do something, so they are taking this last surviving AM. And the first strike is already so strong that the AM will not uh, handle anything more. So a little too... I sent uh, 17 torpedo bombers but 4 was enough to finish this off. One more AM is down. And this is the sinking sound of, uh, for sure, the cargo ships. Uh, and my rowboat. That is my rowboat, I think, from Midway. Always fighting with between 65 and 85 flotation damage. But uh, now it's back and can enter the port and then we can start the repair. So up to now, I never lost any submarine main 
or yeah, fleet submarine. I only lost this uh, mini submarines in the port of uh, Pearl Harbor. So picking up this base, but there is normally nothing, so it's only a takeover. So all for today. Jochen don't strike me. I don't strike Jochen. Nagasaki get a better airfield. Okay. I get some fort, uh, fort level in this Chinese outpost with my paratroopers. So I dig in. I tried my paratroopers try to dig in more and more, and hold the line so that my Japanese army can take uh, over Shangsha and then uh, drive in and drive through everything and uh, split the Chinese forces in two big. Uh, separate uh, fighting forces, but this is I means a long strategy goal. We arrived at the 20th of January, and Japan try to uh, increase the pressure once more. Everywhere are uh, now the Japanese uh, units operating. So, Yohung don't try to bring anything in the air. So I had only operational losses and uh, one kill by flag. So this is uh, my my army recon plan gets killed somewhere by flag. Can happen, but normally it's super super unlucky. I fly in twenty two thousand, so only the biggest caliber flag guns can still uh, reach out to this altitude. If I want normally avoid it completely, I think I must go to 27 or 28,000, but uh, then the recon information getting more worse. So I think 22,000 is normally the best average level. And the rest is all only operational losses, operational losses, operational losses. And only to make sure this zero pilot make a crash landing unluckily, unluckily, is this because we have only two kills and one is a flag guy and the other one is the zero pilot and the zero pilot is not only someone it is this guy Endo Endo just killed he only need one more experience point to be a elite pilot he need one more, only one more kill to be a, a, a ace pilot so but somehow he because there was no enemy air fighter in the air so it was really a purely accident by landing I can sh roughly show this again here in operational. Then go down here. There is this. The pilots get killed in landing accidents. On here, you. So pity. There's also other zero gets damaged, but damage is only means maintenance, nothing more. And Shukaku have uh, lost one dive bomber crashing. So if it's crashed, then it's written off. This is operational losses. If it's only damage, then it will go to maintenance. And if you have a pil uh, pilot killed, can be wounded, can be killed, but he's killed. So one of one of the best or most experienced pilots gets by accident killed. Can happen. So everyone can die. Only the emperor will not die. Uh, so. This was for the Air Force. Ship sunk. Last turn. Of course, no Japanese ship sunk because Jochen never attacked so far. I mean, he tried to use his mines and sneak in and he also used his submarines and he all was he was able to sink two of my light cruisers with his Catalinas. The Catalinas are the worst. But today I sunk maybe nearly 10 ships or more. Roughly, I would say... With the ships I hear sinking but not see them sinking, roughly maybe 100 victory points. This is the biggest one, the fast troop transport ship. And this are the bigger one, you can see here they can carry 1300 guys, compared to the this one only carry 900. But the speed is a big difference. Speed of 18 and the range of 18,000. And here you have similar range but the speed is only 13 so and the max speed is nice for running but most of the cargo ships will always only check for cruise speed so you must normally see what is your cruise speed to calculate what will what you move in what kind of speed in the long run uh, and the rest is normally only minor stuff 
This is his cargo ship. I think we hit two or three of them. They are okay, they are faster. Nothing really too special, but I'll well, get rid of them. And this is our Dutch support APs for short range movement of units. So, yeah, I think they escaped maybe uh, my first attacks uh, around Java. So, Jochen moved them around to Australia to help in east of Australia, and now they, they want help. And they still get killed. Tja. And this is the AMs. So this is the French. Evil French. Because now the French have... I thought the French give up and work with Germany together. But why is he fighting the glorious Japanese Empire? That is not allowed. So we must punish them and sink them. But no submarine equipment. So it's only surface support. Maybe the Australian. Yeah, yeah. This Australian, they have some sub hunter stuff. Both of them are the same, yeah. So, killing these AMs helped me in the long run that my submarines can operate maybe a little longer, a little more safe. So, but no military equipment gets lost. So, all empty, maybe some supplies and some fuel burning and honor. But no, no real d equipment gets destroyed is important, really important. No destroyers. No cruisers, nothing. No army divisions, no air force. Uh, yeah. So I will normally take my carriers and uh, move uh, maybe direction Melbourne, maybe check Sydney, Melbourne, and then return. This is uh, maybe still possible for my my supply line. I cannot stay here too long. I see that in uh, Brisbane is uh, some fighters, but they never took off, so I don't know, they let me fight here and kill. Even Brisbane gets directly hit, so maybe no cap at all. But also no bombers here, at least my detection levels tell me not anything. So, six ships in port, cargo ships, I, uh, I don't know, I don't know if I really want to stay here for so long time, if... Maybe Jochen will reinforce Brisbane in short time, so... And... Carrier strikes normally must have the... Surprise... To be really effective. I can hit here anything what I want, I can never sink this base, I can never sink any airplanes here. But I... If I get a torpedo hit, then my ship is... Hmm very slow and must limp back to Rabul. So the risk is always on my side. And the only best allies I have is supply, uh, surprise. So this was a surprise. I had no detection. Now I have full detection. So now Jochen know exactly what is here. Now he will act. And I don't know what he have. Maybe the Americans carriers are already nearby. So I can really not uh, stay here for too long. Maybe two, three days. Three days and I must clear the field before Jochen can maybe organize some counter-strike. So this was the surprise of the first carrier division. Was a success. But I still would say it's a morale strike, not a military success. Uh, I was able or I... I was confident to do this simply because my recon airplanes, they told me some days ago that the Jochen have many, many fighters here in Rabul. And if there are so many fighters in Rabul, they cannot be at the east coast of Australia. And that is why I say, okay, let's go in. I mean, still I have zero escort cover, so it's not that I don't have, I go in only with strike force. I have escort. But I was uh, thinking that, okay, maybe this east coast is now only lightly defended. So I go for Brisbane. And then I will go maybe for Sydney. And even for Melbourne. But depending how what I find in Sydney, I will maybe think about Melbourne. So this was a big uh, surprise for today. In China, we don't have any surprise. I only was thinking about uh, this heavy artillery was uh, burning far too many supplies, so I will maybe change the setup and say now I only use my super heavy artillery. 
I have here one, two, three super heavy guns with uh, 30 centimeter and 24 centimeter. So these are the normally the siege artillery, and uh, but maybe they also have some impact here in this mountain area. So this will maybe sub burn less supplies and have still an impact. I won't try it at least. Uh, overall the supply situation you can see here is okay. Uh, ah yeah, you must say click all. So I need uh, 25 or 26,000, I have 27,000 so I can't feed all and every soldier here barely. But I can. I don't know how is the situation on the Chinese side. Normally Chinese they always have two less supplies. So this is why I make airstrikes on say, uh, Xi'an airport, burning here supplies, create damage, the so damage must be repaired, this all burns supplies. So if the, I burn the supplies in Xi'an, the supplies will not arrive at these forces. And if I continually bombard the Chinese units, this will normally trigger also counter battery fire and this also burns supplies. So and maybe at a certain point I can maybe try to attack, but maybe in one or two weeks, not earlier. This needs time. Supply issues need long time to really have an impact. Here in the center is no big change. I was able to bring in, or I will bring in here additional forces soon. So in maybe one or two days I can attack uh, Changsha. And I'm not so sure if uh, Jochen was able to reinforce his city because he's split now in, yeah. He must normally bring reinforcements to Changsha, but at the same time he must take this base. But I control the railway, so he cannot move anything quickly. He can only take the highway. But he must choose. He try to take the base back or he try to reinforce Changsha. He can maybe take the base, but then he lose Changsha. Or he holds Changsha, but then he cannot take the space back, and this will dry out the supplies in Changsha. Ta, we will see. We will see. Nothing else happened here. Uh, it's only that uh, we block each other, I would say, in the source. And I cannot say much more about this. And in Burma we have no activity. I still see that here 105 fighters and many auxiliaries. I see here some bombers. I see my mines here. I see ships here. So nothing really new. I know here are more ships coming. Okay. Maybe they hit the next mine. Or my submarines can get rid of them. Who knows. The Malayan situation is uh, getting under control. I control source east, source west, west, northwest soon. These are my tank forces. They're getting rid of this uh, yeah, intruders. This is only one small, already starving British forces. After I, I clean this hex and I clean this hex, I move to my own base and uh, then rail back to Singapore. Here I go in, take the base and then rail back to Singapore. And these two hexes, I don't care. I will have here one Thai force, I will have here one Thai force. And all these British forces here in Malaya can starve to death. Let them die. Here is no big change. Nothing really happened. I have too many scout planes, so of course, Jochen have still maybe Catalinas operating from Balikpapan and Tarakan. I must get rid of them. I see here one... Uh, Dutch submarine lurking in the waters, but it's shallow, so maybe I can kill it next turn. We will see. Uh, and in Java, is nothing happened because I don't care Java now. I still must pick up here some bases and prepare stuff because uh, I still must get Malay uh, Malaya under control. Malaysia. So, uh, yeah, in Philippines, we will have now the next big battle. I think this is the first battle, and then I have normally every day a battle, I think. So, my reinforcements arrive, I'm 
I guess maybe next turn I have this 4000 but I'm now at 3922 attack value. This is the backup division, the 17th army, 53rd division. Ready for striking. And maybe I, with a little luck I take the base. But at least I will blow up the defender and then it's really a question of maybe days before I can strike again. I have already double attack value and uh, I have uh, supplies, no issue. So and normally the Americans are already low on supplies. I bombard here everything every day. So I don't know more how many supplies Jochen have left. Good, 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 good. I think this was first everything I can say about the change. Uh, we can quickly, quickly I can explain some stuff here with the tracker because there was always some discussion about uh, uh, what to do and how to do. I can go over this again. So. Uh, la, 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 la. So, this you normally have the zero. I can or I explain it like this: you start with the zero at the beginning of the war, and this uh, fighter is top of the art. I don't want to say it's the the only one good fighter. No, for sure not. It has uh, no armor protection. It has less hit points. So there's, it's it, the best is that is, um, it is fast and maneuver with long range and have cannons and it's a carrier fighter then you can upgrade this normally you can have this upgrade pass and then you can normally choose where you want to upgrade your stuff blah 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 and normally what I will do is I go to the A6 M5 so this is a this is still the same airframe with only modification. So this is why it's an upgrade. It's not a new airplane. It's only modification. This is the first upgrade I will run for. And you can see that originally the airframe will enter service around August of 43. And uh, I have six A&D factories working for upgrade paths of zero. And every factory can produce 1% per day. So it means I will get 6% per day and D bonus for this airframe. But my factories are now not ready. Roughly, you can say, at 1st of March, my AND is maybe ready to start AND uh, production or development. And uh, you can also roughly say, each month in game a and d will create or will reduce the introduction time of this airframe by two months roughly and if i start in march then they say april may june july then maybe august there are maybe those six months so six months in game time will reduce this introduction time by one by 12 months so one year so very roughly in august of 42 i hope to introduce the a 6 m5 upgrade edition to my carrier fleet and then i will normally jump immediately from this carrier type to this one I get some other, uh, this is a, normally the nature first type, but I skip this, or I will not really upgrade something for this, this is uh, far too complicated, you get nearly no benefit out of this, uh, you can see it's the minimum faster, minimum maneuver value, a little more range, but this is all far too small change that I have an impact. The logistic behind this to create a new fra airframe and then you cannot mix the uh, uh, air wings. No, no, no. Don't do this. Make Keep it simple. So this one is a nature next fighter. August 42. 
It will just arrive in time if the Americans also introduce their um, F4 F uh, fighters. We can check this. I can go to L. Then we can go for US Navy fighter, not the Buffalo, but uh, this one. This enter in March. Okay, so. If I compare this one with a Japanese uh, Zero Fighter, they will clash first. And you can see the Zero is a little faster, have a little better maneuver values, but the Americans have the hit points and the armor and the guns. So I think they are equal. This is still equal battle, can still work. Uh, but what is coming later? Uh, I don't know more how is the uh, Odin this is uh, first edition also this is in April also carrier based uh, maybe this one and this is March uh, so this is in the next upgrade okay so the Americans then later upgrade I think to this one uh, I don't know if it's really much better. Let's say, what else can happen? The Hellcat, I think, is later. The later, yeah, okay. So here, in the beginning of March, we get the Hellcat, and the Hellcat is a complete other task. This kind of zero will not match more. Far slower. I mean, the maneuver values are always more shitty if we're faster, but uh, this speed difference is far too great. Protection hit points and still this heavy equipment so to counter this hellfire or hellcat I need something better and this is why I use this one I'm still slower I still don't have armor protection uh, but I am still have the maneuver value bonus it, it is something at least it's better this tire type have a chance to fight with the hellcat uh, but this is very equal. Really, the Americans are faster. They have the uh, more protection. So I can only try to avoid high altitude on only... I try to fight low altitude, 10,000 maybe, maximum 15,000, and then uh, battle it out. To counter this airplane, I normally need something better, and the only option that is left over is normally this one. This is the last in line, the A6M8. You can go... And I was first thinking if I maybe go for the A6 and C. The C gives you the armor protection, a little more firepower, but you losing speed and maneuver values. And the A6 M8, in the last, this is the last, there's no upgrade more coming, keeps the speed, but you get armor protection and a little more firepower. I mean, uh, yeah, not really much, but the maneuver values are still good, like the uh, five edition. Normally, this is this, no more or less. You can say it have more or less exactly the same values, the same speed, maneuver values. Everything is the same, but you get armor protection, and it is at least something. And armor protection will help your pilots to survive a little longer. If this is a uh, I would still say the American, and you can see they are better. The American airframe is still faster, have more firepower, have more hit points. The only one really can ever finish and get rid of this American Hellcats is Army the Sam. You need this one. You hear you turn and switch it now and say, okay, now the Japanese are clearly better, much faster, much better maneuver values hit points are equally and armor protection also the guns 420 millimeter guns uh, cannons of course uh, this airframe you get very very late and if you come with this airframe the Americans are already at the course here uh, maybe not this one but uh, maybe uh, this is not carrier based this is the first carrier based so then the American come with this one and here you have still, and again, the Americans are faster again. And they have the range. They have the hit points. And they have uh, also the firepower. So, 
I wouldn't say so. The Japanese maybe have the first six months of the war. They have the better airframes. Later on, it's only a rush of time that the Japanese try to keep up with the technology level, but they will never really outclass more the Americans. It's impossible. This airframe, I think, I can earliest earliest get this a beginning of forty four. Earliest. So I, if Jochen enter his course here. I just can barely catch him up. I will always be behind. I will never be more in advanced technology level. Okay. Uh, yeah, and only because I skip it. The, the question is, uh, if I get this one maybe in August of 42, the question is what, how fast I can get this one. This one I can maybe get in August of 43. Roughly, I would say. But we will see if it's really possible. And if I get this in August of 43, means this one will have to fight the Corsair. Because this is the same, this is very similar. I think Jochen gets this airframe and I get this airframe. And here you can see 417 to 350. Oh, I'm so slow. Hit points lower. So gun value is not so great. My range is shitty. Ah. If you play Japan, everything after June of 42 is uh, only a pain in the ass. Thank you all. See you. Take care. Bye bye. Oh, wrong.